the Friday, 10th of May, 2023. It was one of the most influential days in mine and my fellow batsmen's lives. And I guess you can call it D-Day, because it was the day of our board exam results. But the day started like any other. I went to school, I come back, and that's when I received a call from my mom, informing me that the results had been declared. And that sent me into a complete state of panic. But somehow, I get myself back together, I open my laptop, and I check out the results. And no sooner than I'm done, I receive a flurry of calls and messages from practically everybody. But especially a lot of uncles and aunties who very honestly, till that day, I had no idea who they were. But all of them were still eager to know and compare my marks with those of their children. Now, this story isn't something which is unique to me, but something many of us here went through on our respective results as well. And though our stories may be somewhat different, they all have the same underlying root cause. Society and its obsession with marks. Now, don't get me wrong here. Marks are an incredibly important aspect of a student's life. And I can never stress that enough. But the gripe I have with the system is when many a times marks become the sole judge for a student's caliber. And that is incredibly unhealthy. Because at the end of the day, marks are just one side of the coin. It is very much possible that some of us here may be lacking in the academic arena, but may be stupendously talented in the arts, music, dance, or any other field. And that doesn't make any of them lesser than any of us. Furthermore, many a times in this quest for academic excellence, we often ignore other important aspects of our life, such as our mental well-being, our habits, friends, family, sleep, and many more, which has a detrimental effect on our holistic development, and in turn, the development of essential 21st century skills. Now, recently, when I introspected on this a little, I realized that among many of us, there exists a very common misconception that marks alone induce success in one's career. And yes, this may be true for academia or research, it is rarely the case otherwise. And this is something I realized after interaction I had on Quora with an individual, and let's call him X. Now, X is what many of us would call as a subpar student, someone who barely scraped through his BCom, someone who bought 50% in both his board examinations. Now, most of us here would assume that someone like X at best had a mediocre career, but fate had a different plan. Now, X starts his career as a call center agent in Mumbai, where he works day in, day out for four years working night shifts, after which, he works as an insurance agent for another three years, where he traverses kilometers every single day just to meet his sales targets. Before he finally gets a break as a, as a sales manager in a firm, from where, over a period of 30 years, he builds his career to retire as the chief marketing officer of a company. Now, some of us here may dismiss X as an exception. Someone who just got lucky, I guess. But to me, X is an inspiration, because here is a person who everyone around him at a time dismisses as a failure, rising up the corporate ladder purely through hard work, determination, and that belief to back yourself up even when everyone doesn't believe in you. And that, my friends, is what I believe are the true keys to success, for which, even with every other spell in the book, there can be no substitute. And it is my firm belief that the true goal of academics is to inculcate these skills in ourselves. The marks you get, the subject matter knowledge you learn, all of these are secondary to lessons you learn in the journey. And that is what we need to instill in ourselves. At this moment, I recall one of my favorite quotes from the movie Three Idiots, from Rancho. Success ke piche mat bhago, excellence ka pizza karo. Or success, which translates to don't run behind success, but rather 
chase excellence, and success will come right behind. And these words echo the essence of my thoughts. Our goals in life shouldn't be to run behind material wealth, but rather follow our passion and strive to do our best. And when backed up by hard work, trust me, if you are that person, the sky is no longer the limit. Thank you and have a great day ahead.